Mexican state of Michoacan lies west of Mexico City. The state is known for its diverse natural habitats of deserts, jungles, pine-covered mountains, and rocky beaches. That diversity is mirrored in its heritage of handmade goods. Many towns and villages throughout the state are known for a specific handcraft made by artisans, such as reed weaving in Iwatsio, pottery in Cucucho, coppersmithing in Santa Clara del Cobre. Today, we're going to the town of Pátzcuaro, where Mario Agustín Gaspar Rodríguez makes maque, a pre-Columbian form of lacquerware. Lacquerware uses different substances on various objects, usually wood, to give them a shiny finish. Before lacquering, surfaces are often painted with pictures inlaid with shell and other materials or carved. Here we see Martin Andrade Rodriguez in Pátzcuaro making lacquerware. However, maca is a similar technique developed by native artisans before the Spaniards arrived. Here Mario works on a variety of maca projects using local ingredients. Mario's shop is filled with the market pieces on which he has spent long hours creating with a fine perfection. The shop is also filled with lacquerware pieces created by his wife Beatrice, who shares the shop with him. Here we see them both in their shop working diligently on their projects. Beatrice provides the greater support for her family through her lacquerware pieces, which require less time to complete than make. Mario may spend sometimes months on a make project, some of which may eventually sell for $5,000, depending on the size and detail. See the bright colors in Mario's make. He and Beatrice both collect the natural ingredients to create the blues and reds and greens in make projects. The refreshing indigo blue color comes from añu, a plant found in many places throughout the world, including the Tierra Caliente region of Michoacán. Here we see the raw dye they've extracted from the plant. Now take a look at the green in the trees. Beatriz and Mario create green by mixing the indigo blue with orange zeposuchitl flowers shown here. Those flowers are also placed around graves during Day of the Dead in Mexico. Now see the orange papel picado hanging on the line? That color is made from local soil from the nearby town of Tocuaro. The soil yields its orange color when mixed with the oil extracted from these chia seeds. That oil is mixed with extract from a local insect called aje, shown here in a jar. That mixture is used at the beginning of every maquet project. Aje insects are found only in Michoacan, making this craft unique in all the world. Mario begins a project by first sanding it down. Here we see him rubbing the kia and aje mixture into the surface of a gourd. Now we see Mario dip a wad of cloth 
in the anya and tap it lightly on the surface of the gourd. He uses his palm and fingers to rub the anya into the surface, adds more blue powder, doms a little oil, and rubs it all together. The rich indigo blue spread like a royal blanket across the gourd. Mario would spend about two hours working on the underside of the gourd. He will then set it aside for two weeks until it dries and then begin working on it some more. Such is the slow but impressive process of working on a Make project which takes months and sometimes years to complete. The process includes a delicate carving of images such as trees, flowers, and birds. That process includes delicate carving of images such as trees, flowers, and birds, which are then filled in with color. <laughs> 